Hi guys, it's your girl Adiola and I'm back at you with another video today. Um, today's video is going to be a um, foundation routine. I want to tell you my foundation routine, how I apply my foundation to get a flawless look. And I also want to share with you the different kinds of foundation that I have tried and that work for me and hopefully they will be helpful for you too. Okay? If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe so that you can, you know, be up to date with them, whatever it is is happening on my channel. You can also follow me on all social media. On my screen are my social media platforms and my usernames, so be sure to have a look so that you can see more of what I do. Mm. I'm sorry, so hungry. Okay, so let's talk about foundation. What is a foundation? Foundation is a base. This is what you use to smooth out your pores, give you an even skin tone, and it just acts as a base for your makeup, basically. Okay, so there are different kinds of foundation. You have sheer cover foundation, you have full coverage foundation, you've got medium coverage foundation. So I'm going to show you the different types of foundation that I have tried that work for me. I make um, foundation that... Are good enough I mean the standard test of time and I think you might want to try them as well I'm gonna start off with them um, like drugstore foundation like the affordable makeup I usually use liquid foundations so like I said there are different kinds of foundation you've got liquid foundation you've got stick foundation you've got um, the, some that come like a mousse you've got the mineral foundation which is more of like a powder you've got cream to powder foundation so I think all of this just really depends on your preference and also some of them depends on the kind of skin you have which will determine the choice of foundation you're going to go for for you but I'm going to just give you a guide on how to choose your foundation how to apply it first of all well. let me talk about the one I use currently and th this is the one I have been used for the past year and I have been very loyal to it this is the L'Oreal True Match foundation um super blendable foundation I absolutely love this foundation because it it just glides on snow smoothly it's um, more of a medium to more of a medium cover foundation I would say but it does cover very very well and um, this foundation actually lasts all day which is what you want to look for in a foundation and it's got a little bit of shimmer shimmer in but it is absolutely lovely it makes your skin glow look healthy it gives you a really really nice you know finish next up this one the Revlon um, color stay makeup and one of the reasons why I really love this foundation is because it's very long wearing and it doesn't transfer or when you rub your face and you can see foundation all over your face this doesn't do that now, the only downside of this foundation is that it um, doesn't come in a pump okay so it's just in this little bottle and then you have to pour it that's the only downside other than that it's a really good foundation so BB creams who uses a BB cream well I like to use a BB cream especially in the summer months where it's really hot so this is BB cream me it says um, it's a beauty balm so it just evens out your skin tone and gives you a nice dewy finish it's light coverage so it's not gonna really cover all your if imperfections that much but it will smooth out your face smooth out your pores it gives you a nice base and give you a very natural look and this is the LA, LA girl pro BB cream high definition beauty balm that's what that looks like and I am in the shade deep yeah so here I've got Ofra cosmetics um absolute cover silk peptide foundation um, and I'm in the shade 09. That's what that looks like. You know, I just started using this foundation. I absolutely love it. This foundation retails for um, £22. And you can get it off beautybay.com. This is really, really a good one. I mean, it just glides on so smoothly. It gives me a nice, even coverage. It lasts. It doesn't, you know, it just applies very nicely. I will leave the... Um, leave notes in the description box and the prices of um the foundation that i've shown you today how much they are retailing for and possibly where you can possibly get them that's enough talk let me show you my foundation routine and how i get a nice even coverage and look balm through first thing i'm going i usually do 
is put on a primer this is a primer i got from asda george it was going for three pounds so i would just normally apply a primer just stop that on my face And just rub that in around my t-zone and um, on my forehead just around my eyes just avoid my brows as well wow. okay next thing I usually do is I color correct and I usually use the LA girl pro conceal so it's the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition HD High Definition Concealer, but it absolutely works. This is the orange corrector. So this I just um, it comes with a brush. So I just put that under my eyes and then just correct my dark circles and um, my smile line as well and around my mouth because it's dark around there. Once that's done, I would just blend it with my middle finger because the um, I don't want to apply so much pressure on it. So just a light pressure. I use my ring finger just to blend it in. A lot of people would use a beauty blender, but when I went to um, when I was doing a beauty course, the person that taught me um, taught me to use my fingers, and that's what I've always done since then old habit so once I'm done with that just take my foundation I usually use a foundation brush and this brush is the Yinx cosmetics brush you can get this brush from Yinx www.yinxcosmetics.com I think that's the website I will leave the information in the description box as well I absolutely love this brush the way it's very densely packed the bristles are so soft okay, so dot that around my face with the brush and I will just pat that in I usually use like a pump and a half of this foundation carefully avoiding my brows and pat it in Also, make sure to apply it towards your neck as well. Just make sure you cover all the areas. Okay. See how flawless that looks? No streaks. I do not see any streaks. That's just perfect. Okay, and the next thing I do, normally, if I'm going out, I would um, highlight with a concealer, but it's up to you. On a normal day, when I'm going to work or I'm just going out, I skip the concealer a bit and just highlight with my setting powder. So, um, just on the areas where I want to really highlight one normally you should like. use your beauty blender wet so this is just what i do on a, a normal day just wet it with my um my my setting spray and this is the makeup revolution pro fix amazing fixing spray so just use that to blend it in it's be this beauty blender i actually got from primark it's so soft and um, this two in a pack for for a pound fifty. Okay. Yeah, the concealer I've used is also the LA Girl um, Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer in the shade Fawn to highlight. Yep. Happy with that. To contour, I would use the 
dark cocoa this is also the la girl pro conceal hd high definition concealer in the shade dark cocoa okay pull this Again, I'm gonna blend that with my. I'm gonna blend that with my. With my beauty blender, I've got another beauty blender. This is very used, but I'm using it anyway. So, just that again. Sweat that again, and um, blend in that contour. So you want to put your contour where you've got um, the hollows of your cheek. Okay, make sure you blend that in nicely. You don't want any harsh line. You don't want you don't want any harsh lines. You don't want um, any dark spots. Just blend it in. Okay, just patting it in, and just above as well. There we go. So what I'm gonna do next, I will now highlight. Just put this on my face like this. Under my eyes. so this is just you do this with your beauty blender as well just have to bring that up to so I'm just gonna go do a little eye makeup and then come back and finish off on camera okay, okay so I have done my eyes and I'm just now gonna buff off the excess powder just some um, brush it off okay okay and um I will just some um, add a little bit of um darker powder to contour as well so I'm just using the um, sleek contour kit in dark I hit pan on this one just to deepen that contour that's already there okay Just slightly on your nose, yeah? Yeah. And just this uh, around your um, neckline or jawline, just to push back any double chin, <laughs> if you've got one like me. Right, I've got my hair on, on fringe. I don't really need to do this, but I'm just used to doing it, so I'm just going to contour around here no one's gonna see it but have it okay right there we go and the last thing I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna brush on my um powder my normal everyday powder all over my face just to seal the whole look just to make it look a lot more natural okay For that I'll be using the L'Oreal true match um, powder um, super blendable powder in the shade neutral so this is um, in shade N9 so just use this big brush all over my face just soft just not giving me any color 
but not any color but just it's more of a neutral um powder so yeah blusher just a little blusher and highlight i'm going to be using the sleek um blush in the shade sahara it's more of a neutral warm orangey toned blush i've really hit ban on this one so you can you know that it's a favorite so just give me a bit of warmth on my cheeks to warm up my cheeks see how that is um sculpted my face okay and um highlighter wet and wild highlighting mega glow highlighting powder in the shade crown of my canopy this so this i'm just going just around everywhere that i've highlighted and the tip of my nose just to mimic how the sun falls on your face really that's why we highlight give you that natural glow that's giving me a lot of definition mm, i love this highlighter okay i'm just gonna do my lips and i will be back to give you my final box. okay so that was my foundation routine and um, as well as um, showing you the different kinds of foundation that you could possibly try out and see which one works for you, just recommending them. So before you ask, the lipstick I'm wearing is the Primark Super Matte Liquid Lipstick in um, Carla. And the Milani More Matte Lip Cream in Corvette to line my lips. Okay. Finally, if you want your foundation to last the whole day, um, always use a fixing spray because that holds the look together and makes it more long wearing also putting on a fixing spray, spray fixing spray takes away all the powderiness of the powder you've applied and makes you look a lot more natural so I hope you enjoyed that video that whole foundation routine and a little talk through some of the foundations that I use that work for me. If you like this video and um, you were able to pick up one or two tips from me, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below on what else you want to see, and don't forget to follow me on all social media, my Facebook, my Instagram page, Twitter, and Snapchat, so you can see more of me and more of what I do. Okay, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I love you.